Hey, y'all, seeing a lot about the police response to the protests at Columbia, but not seeing anyone really talk about what the Columbia students are protesting for. They have published their list of demands. I'm going to read them to you now. The student organization that is negotiating with the administration is called Columbia University Apartheid Divest. They are calling for Columbia to divest all of Columbia's finances, including the $13.6 billion endowment, which is by a university-owned investment firm, from companies and institutions that profit from their relationship with Israel. They identified the company specifically as BlackRock, an asset management company with ties to weapons manufacturing, Airbnb, which has offered rentals in the occupied West Bank, Caterpillar, whose bulldozers are the ones that Israel is using, and Google, which has faced protests from staffers over Project Nimbus, which provides artificial intelligence services to Israel. Number two is an academic boycott. They want the school to sever academic ties with Israeli universities, including the Global Center in Tel Aviv, the dual degree program with Tel Aviv University, and all study abroad programs, fellowships, and research collaborations with Israeli academic institutions. They're asking for amnesty for Palestinian students and their allies on and off campus, including through university disciplinary processes. They're demanding Funding of public safety and for the university to disclose and sever all ties with the NYPD. Their fourth demand is for the school to release a public statement calling for an immediate permanent ceasefire in Gaza, to denounce the ongoing genocidal campaign against the Palestinian people, and call on government officials to do so as well. And their last demand is actually an amendment to a student protest in 2008 about campus expansion. They are demanding no land grabs, whether in Harlem, on the ancestral lands of the Lenape, or in Palestine. Communication between the students and the administration has broken down. But calls for divestment in the past have worked. We get more into the history of successful protest at Columbia on the American Fever Dream podcast. You can listen wherever you get your podcasts.